I'm working on a 2010 Nissan Cube. I got a transmission here, the used one that's supposed to go in there, the purchase, customer purchase. And um, I know how some mechanics feel about customer purchase parts, but uh, I just got to simply change the fluid. Well, I got to do the transmission obviously, but right now while I got it out, I'm just going to go ahead and do the pan, gasket, and the filter. But I just want to show you that this is the oil that came out. CVT fluid is supposed to be clear. I got some fluid over there, but it just has like, sometimes they have like a tint to it. But this fluid looks horrible. So we're gonna tear into this used one that I gotta replace. Hey, you know, it's not my fault if something happens, uh, just like the transmission that was, uh, that the customer purchased with the Chevy. It's not my fault. So we're doing like a labor claim on that one since the wrong one was installed and I didn't buy it. So let's um, I'm gonna clean this pan off a little bit and uh, we'll take, so take a 10 millimeter, pull this cover off and let's inspect it, see what we're dealing with. Now there's two different pans. This was the 19 bolt pan. The customer called and they want they requested that information from whatever he bought this the gasket set from. Look at that. That looks horrible. Look how thick that is. Let me turn this light on. I will be surprised if this wow. That is bad. Damn, that looks horrible. That is horrible. It is a lot of material in here, a lot of ferrous metals. It is, man, look at this. This metal sparkles in the pan, too. That's, this is what they want to put in. You got it for a discount. Uh, I was gonna charge them double what he bought this for from some person. They sent them a video of it working. So, um, yeah. So he's saving quite a bit, but I don't know what at at what expense. And uh, this is the other magnet. It drove like the car that again that he they showed him. It drove, but that's it was wrecked in the back. Again, the mileage is unknown. This is a lot of buildup. Let me get this off of here. Get this pan clean. I might try to uh, I say, let's say accumulate. Try to collect all the metal on the, the shavings or whatever accumulated on the magnet and a rag, we'll take a better look, but you can see, look how dark, let me get a better, let me zoom in a little bit. There's the strainer. doubt this is supposed to look like this <laughs> this is not supposed to look like this on the inside this transmission has definitely seen better days look at this that design is going to sell on eBay for $12,000 so if you want to buy it link will be in the description we're going to pull this filter off see what's needed to do that and I highly doubt this has like a thousand bolts in here but it looks like it do so let's pull this off and I guess I can take some brake cleaner and clean the inside out and air it out let it you know uh, sit back vertical let it drain all out. Whew. All right. 
So he went to Carquist. This is the filter that he got. Show him out a little bit. See what this looks like. So we can take off the same bolt pattern. I highly doubt a filter's gonna have. Shoot. Oh man. I told him what was needed. Not gonna... Hold on. Something happened. This is this is this is that crap when customers buy their own part. Let me make sure this gasket is right. Nope. <laughs> it's not right yet. Hold on. <laughs> So what was crazy is that I looked on Rock Auto for a filter and gasket set. The gasket wouldn't match. The filter is questionable, so I'm gonna pull these bolts off and see what the filter or the strainer look like. I just I think this is just a strainer than a filter, but even though the definition they're they're the same, but this doesn't this isn't as as integral of of, of accumulating or collecting the particulates it just, it just acts more of a strainer to me so the gasket's not right and I don't understand why but if I look up the gasket by itself is this the pro appropriate gasket so I don't I don't know so I just told the customer what we can do is just pretty much clean the inside of the transmission air it out and uh, clean the strainer so I'm gonna pull this off see what it looks like and uh, we'll go from there so let's let's dig into this Probably backwards that I'm pulling this off. Oh, let's see. Let's get to the bow body. Let's see what's in here. It runs all the way through. I don't know what I'm doing. Why would it have like two strainers? Uh, that don't make any sense. So let's see what we got. Let's see what the, oh, 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 there's, it's leaking. It's leaking, stuff is leaking out. I don't know if all these bolts are the same size or not. Yeah, these, these two aren't. Uh, this one is, this one is, this one is. So I think we're in good shape. They're all looking like they're the same size except for one. Not a big deal. Maybe get some brake cleaner. Yep, all the same size. So yeah, it's a strainer. I'm just gonna clean this off and it should be okay. It's kind of like black, other black, black back flush it. Look at that. <laughs> this don't look good at all. It's better view the inside. Doesn't look great. It's definitely not the prettiest. It definitely shows that there's negligence and high mileage. So let me hit it with some brake cleaner and compressed air, get what I can out of it. And yeah, I just feel like a just like put my hand in. Yeah, I just feel like a mesh. That's all it is. I should be able to clean this out. Let me send these photos to the customer and then uh, get to blowing it out.
got the strainer clean to my best of my ability. And uh, it looks a lot better. You can see through the strainer now. And, uh, that's the other side. So we're gonna pop this back on and see what happens. For the gasket, uh, I did use some Permatex gasket spray. And it's just it just creates a small film. I mean, the gasket's metal, so it's a reusable one. I just gave it a little extra liner. I'll show you what I've used. This is spray a gasket by Permatex. Nothing crazy. It just gives it a you know, like a red kind of tacky little film. So that'll help when sealing up the gasket and you can see it's a little red right there. Let me get the uh, pan, let me show you what it looks like. Here's the pan, looks a lot better. Get everything out. So, let's get our screws. So that's that. Uh, I got the harness, everything removed from this old trend from the used transmission. Some things look questionable, but we'll see. I'm gonna once I get it installed, we'll see what works. I know they broke one of the output speed sensors. It's, uh, it's one of those speed sensors up there somewhere, but that's broken. I got to replace that. No big deal. That's why we still got an old transmission. Those output sensors don't typically don't fail. So. Well, if uh, again the, the pan gasket, or if you, I guess if you decide to clean the strainer, you probably may have to go to the dealer, obviously, to get it because aftermarket. I don't. I, maybe I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm not that smart, so maybe that strainer is somewhere else in the engine. Don't know. But that what I saw on Rock Auto didn't match with the gasket, didn't match with the pan and filter set. So the strain this. The strainer that, that was in here, me cleaning that will be perfectly fine, especially getting all that contaminant side of it. The oil will do the rest, and the new surface area that strainer has available can collect the residual laying around. So uh, we'll see what happens. And if, if again, this is a completely accessible inside the car, just as I did it. It was a 10 millimeter, and you know, of course, you need a pan and some some um, some patience so this does have a dipstick so this does have a dipstick on the side here pull that out and uh, there's our dipstick so it's not gonna be difficult to check the fluid on here once you add your CVT fluid not automatic transmission fluid so uh, all right um, I want to just want to show what was possibly inside this used trainer because the fluid looked bad when we pulled it off the truck and again the customer purchased this so if it works or not I don't know uh, it drove like I stated earlier the customer got a video from what the seller had before it was sold to him I guess that was the proof but the fluid definitely showed that there was a lack of maintenance the mileage unknown see what happens the labor time to pose the retreat but the labor time to replace this transmission in the 2010 cube is Nissan cube is supposed to be like seven hours or so so but once I get this in here and if anything happened I'll definitely update in the comment section so hit that link subscribe to the channel stay informed how to return some work see you next one